I'll be starting off today's DIY with pieces of wood and at different lengths, but 70 inches for the longest one for this project will be best. I'll be using wood glue and a staple gun to put all the pieces together. I'll be making a privacy screen and I'll be using a very common item from the Dollar Tree to make this privacy screen look unique. I am making my frame from scratch, but if you already have a framework that's good to go, then you can skip this step altogether. I made two and then I joined them together with hinges. Now that I have this all set, I'll keep it aside and then take Dollar Tree picture frames and they are gold picture frames from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be removing what I don't need and then using just the frames alone for this project. I'll be using this item right here for my measurements and to complete the project. And can any of you guess what these are? They are napkin holders. These come 100 pieces in a pack and I will leave a link for this down in the description box below. I'm going to measure this on a foam board and cut it out to use it as my guide to separate the frames equally. I'm also making marks in the middle as my guide to where I'm going to be using craft sticks to attach the frames together. They sell craft sticks at the Dollar Tree and also in any craft store as well. I'll attach the craft sticks to the frames with a strong adhesive and hot glue.
I'll be attaching five in a chain to look like this. And I'll be making four of these for the privacy screen. Now back to what I made earlier, I'm going to be taking it outside and spray painting it gold. Now I'm going to go ahead to attach the picture frames to this using a different kind of strong adhesive and hot glue. I'll be adding more craft sticks here. When I was done, I took it out and I spray painted the craft sticks gold. Now I'm going to be taking the napkin holders and cutting this part out before attaching them to the design. The back will be covered, but I just want to see what it looks like now before I cover the back. There are a lot of ways to have this covered much more. Now you can use contact paper on the glass that comes with the picture frames and you can use any contact paper of your choice. So I'm going to be using this one to cover up a glass from one of the picture frames so you guys can see what it would look like if it was all covered and used for the privacy screen design. This is how it looks and you can attach them with the craft sticks and it will look like this. Now I did do a privacy screen sometime in the past using fabric. I used lace sometime in the past with brackets to make a privacy screen and it was absolutely beautiful. The link for this video is going to be down in the description box below. When I was done, I took it outside and I spray painted it navy blue because they didn't have that color at that time in the store. I then spray painted the brackets gold. Now this is the end result. It's really pretty, but for this project, I'm going to be using crushed velvet fabric. I'm attaching it to the wood with a staple gun. I'll be adding trims to the side to make it look neat. This is what it looks like now. And you can use any other color of a crushed velvet fabric that you like. And I chose this one because I have a particular place in mind where I want this to be. Now, if you choose to leave yours open, remember that the napkin holders are not strong enough, so they have to be folded and attached to the frames. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button 